Hello everyone, this series of videos corresponds roughly to the English translation of the French videos on Microsoft Excel that you can find on the same channel. And as soon as more tutorials in French are released, the English versions will hopefully follow. Um, once you open Excel, this is uh, the screen you should get. Um, you can see at the bottom there are the files you've recently opened uh, with when you've opened them. Um, you can pin some of them, uh, so if you do, uh, the file will always uh, be on top, no matter how long it has been since you've last opened it. Um, I'm going to unpin this. And you also have some templates if you don't want to start with a blank uh, workbook, but this is more advanced stuff. We are going to use um, a blank workbook. If you've worked um, with other Microsoft products, you'll find that this is very similar, especially the top, um, the top part of the tool. Um, so you have several tabs. Uh, every time you swap from tab to tab, you'll find that the ribbon, so this is called the ribbon, will change. Uh, each ribbon is organized in groups. Uh, so for example, this is the font group. And you can notice these uh, little arrows uh, here, which basically offer um, offer you more uh, options. Uh, here are the advanced font options. So if I want to italicize some text, this is fairly easy because the button's right here. But if I want to do something more more advanced, like to strike through some text, this is something I want to strike through. Uh, I would have to open the advanced uh, font settings, so just have to uh, tick the checkbox and press OK, and uh, the text will be uh, strike through. Um, so this is about it for the font and all the other options. We will we'll come back, obviously, to all these uh, buttons. Uh, you can see that the table is organized in uh, rows, so this is, these are rows and columns. Columns have letters um, and rows have numbers. You can obviously change this. Um, sometimes it get a little bit hard to know what column we are at, uh, so we can use I1C1 reference style to actually have numbers uh, in columns. So some, some of you would prefer this. Bear in mind that by default the columns are with letters so most people you will encounter will have workbooks uh, that have letters as columns so just something to to remember and uh, all these little rectangles are called cells and you can just write stuff in cells so this can be text this can be numbers um, this can be formulas uh, formulas typically start with the equal sign but uh, we will see all of this uh, later, obviously. At the bottom of the screen, you have what we call the sheet tabs. Uh, right now, um, it's only one sheet because I haven't added any other sheets, but uh, you can add as many as you want. I mean, there's a limit, but uh, it's big enough so that you don't have to worry about it. Uh, you can see that if you have too many sheets, then uh, you can't you won't be able to display them all, but uh, navigating through them is quite intuitive. You can display them all by right-clicking right here, uh, which can be quite uh, useful. You can also select several of them if you want to delete several of them by just pressing, as you would do on Windows, uh, left-click here, shift, left-click here, right-click, delete. And uh, you can also move them. Now sheet 1 is obviously at the far right because I've moved them all to the left. Uh, let's delete them. Okay, now uh, underneath the sheets tab you have the status bar. The name isn't important but uh, pretty self-explanatory. Right now it says ready but if you do some heavy computations or whatever it will say, uh, it will display a progress bar which um, can be quite useful to know. And finally, um, if you want to save your workbook, you just right click, uh, left click, sorry, here. You will have to choose the file name, and you can see the extension is .xlsx. Um, you can change this to xlsm if you use uh, macro, but this is more advanced stuff. And you can just do a bunch of other extensions that we probably won't use. 